This is the morning yoga class with our tennis immersion camp in Germany. It's being run by one of our students, Mark. We spend 10 minutes to 15 minutes in the morning doing this program, and then in the evening as well. So if they do it for four weeks, they should be able to take the program home with them. It would be excellent if they could play tennis this way. Almost every one of them, when they play, their emotional quotient, they're all intelligent, their IQ is not a problem, but their emotional quotient, when they play, they're not in a position where they can control their body, their mind, and their spirit. So with yoga, there's certainly going to be flexibility and strength, but really the mindset for them to be a better tennis player. It's interesting, we have players from here, there, and everywhere sent to us to work on technique, and we make videos, make narrated slow motion analysis tapes, and these are great kids, but less than 10% of the students that are sent to us send us notes that we request from the video we made. So it's not being doom and gloom or pessimistic, but typically if you tell 100 students to shadow swing in front of the mirror for 42 seconds, they don't do it. So the chances of the players taking this home with them, Slim and none, Slim just left town, but we talked to him exactly that way. Over the last several days, we've seen them improve with this program. Rule number one, do just the opposite of what you want to do. And our experience is that players don't want to do flexibility, shadow swinging, first thing in the morning.